too afraid of like messing up just a little bit and then boom six. The Falco combos on Fox is just so 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 thick and meaty. Like not unlike you. I'm a, yeah, I'm not so th thick and so meaty. <laughs> I'm the thickest, meatiest man. Jagged Cole. 130 pounds of thick meat. Alright, we're going to battlefield. Fox Falco. The spaces. <laughs> Caves just laughing. Alright. But we're gonna get into this next match. Uh, Falco Fox. Starting on Battlefield, good for both characters. I actually think it's better for Falco in the, in the current meta just because uh, Fox's like, platform movement to just pressure him so well works really well. Um, but however, with the platform on Battlefield, you get that nice escape option. So Fox can keep the pressure up too much and then you can um, set up the laser traps from lots of different positions while being, while being safe. Yep. I got these dare shines everywhere from Boomstick. Boomstick is spacing his moves so well. Oh my god, the laser forward smash. Catches him off guard. Kill shrine? Up throw? No punish oh. out of up throw. We'll run off back air, and that'll be the stock. We just saw a Dizzy Flub uh, run off stage up B. I think he's a little nervous. More lasers. Oh, another back air. That back air will kill you. Yeah, it'll kill you pretty early. With a huge dish joint. You really want to avoid that if you can. Yeah, now you... Getting hit, bad. Not getting hit. Good. Boomstick is Boomstick's having some really good punishment. More right than now. he's getting hit. <clears throat> and there's just there's not a lot of hitting going on from Dizzy. I think Boomstick is just taking his combo so much further than Dizzy is. Yeah, Dizzy's just playing so passively. Oh my god. He's punishes though. Dizzy's letting Boomstick get away with, with really simple combos. Dizzy gives up. Dizzy! Believe in you that believes in me! I gave him a Gurren Logget reference. I see. I see. Uh, some boost of confidence, because we all know Dizzy can do it. We know he's the king of Tinaha, Dizzy, the village. Do it for your waifu. And do it for Monster Musume. Do it for Goo Girl! Oh my god, but on off stream though, I see that Bananas is at three stocks to one on Mouth in game three. But that's not important right now. What's important is Dizzy! Counter picks to Yoshi's. Counter picks to Yoshi's. A lot of foxes like this. Um, I don't think he was getting overwhelmed too much by pressure. He was just getting. Uh, when he when Boomstick did happen to open up, he was just punishing harder, is the yeah. main thing. Shine stall. Ooh, the side B just misses the edge cancel just barely. That was a good shine stall, but uh, not a good side B. And air back air. Bear string. Another nair. Ooh, good punish for right. Dizzy. Great edge guard. Oh, Randall. All right. Dizzy gets the punish. Dizzy gets gets that stock despite Randall's interference. <laughs> There's a catch him with the up smash. Ooh, cross him over with that shine. Dizzy definitely playing. It seems like a lot more confidently in this yes. game. Most definitely. Most definitely. Oh. This is running with a grab it. Looks like with a fadeaway laser. Step back perch. Good smashy eye in the shine. 
Oh, oh my god, wow. just scoops him up. Catches him underneath the stage with that up smash. Dizzy goes, oh wow, Dizzy with a great gimp. Dizzy went for the Armada Shine and uh, got the stock anyways. He did Might indeed. The ledge. Dizzy playing much more, much more, I wouldn't say aggressively, but more his, confidently. he's playing more confidently for yeah. sure. Wow. Intelligent aggression, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. That was uh, definitely, definitely what we wanted to see. He definitely believed in the me that believed in him. Yeah. And that was uh, that was stuff that we weren't we, we weren't seeing Dizzy do in the first match, going off stage to chase Boomstick. Um, yeah, I would going agree for, with that. Going for more risky edge guards, um, and you can definitely do that as Fox. You have a great recovery. Falco doesn't have that many options off stage, so. But we are seeing Boomstick uh, turn up the heat on Pokemon Stadium. Yeah, I would definitely agree with that. So, hmm, interested to see what Boomstick is really looking for by uh, making it a wider stage. I feel like Dizzy actually was dominating in the neutral with his aggression yep. more, so I do like this counter pick. It might also just be a counter comfort counter pick. A lot of Falcons just like this stage no matter what. Yeah. Oh, and we uh, we found out that Mouth lost to uh, Bananas he off did. stream. He did indeed. Just to update the stream. And Boomstick with a nice down air to finish this off. Pretty sure. standard stuff. Yeah, down air, a move that has actually so many different purposes. One of the most, uh, it's just got so many, so much utility. Uh, combos, getting out of combos, killing. Yeah. Um, Even starting, approaching to an extent. Start, yeah, approaching, crossing people up, yeah. One of the best moves in the game. Yeah. Contender for best move in the game. Ooh, the, a peek gives up oh that. my god, the running up smash just raw! Dizzy gave up that, that ledge, but uh, he got a good read off of it, which ended in a kill, so I think that was a good move. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Mm. Alright, Danner will send him off stage. That hurt, that hurt to watch. Shines him in the corner. Dizzy is letting himself get cornered right now, I think. Shine pressure. His shield was so small. It was very that small. That could have been bad. Dizzy needs to be careful not to let his shield break. That would be it's bad. Real small. It's not something you want to have in. Dizzy is, is actually utilizing these platforms really intelligently uh, to keep himself safe from the laser. Oh my god, but the, that punish was so nice. And again, Dizzy giving up the ledge. Um, I guess he wants to cover the other options, but yeah. I mean that's that's the easiest option. So yeah, he can also cover slightly higher, especially if the boomstick is under the stage. Oh my god, that down tilt just spacing him out. Close him with the down air. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, that tech from Dizzy. That's some cute stuff at the ledge from both players. Shine. Oh, does not close him into the get back air. Oh, oh great shine stall that. there to mess up the timing for the stick. And then there's going to be the stock though. This is the, this is going to need to this is last rethink stock for what Dizzy. he's doing. He needs to put in a lot of work with the stock. But it's definitely possible. Falco, or Fox has really strong running game. Yeah, he's got Dizzy a lot just of needs to bring back what he was doing in game two. Just um, just kind of get up in Boomstick's face. And just fetches him straight off the top. Tries to ball him with the up air. Is he hiding behind the wall? Doesn't want to deal with the lasers. Fuzzing them up with those, those laser down airs. Good ledge cancel into a combo. Let's see how far it goes. And, ooh, almost off the top. Yeah, I think he's got him in the corner, and if he can, can yeah, that should have been a, a shine turnaround grab right there, but he goes to the back air desk, tries to be a little too safe. Ooh, jab grab, interesting. Caught Dizzy trying to wait for the second jab, it looked like. 
Great, great angle. Price to drill on stage, that's unsafe. That'll be the game. That's it. This is actually, um, had a good showing on that last talk. He definitely did. Yeah. I would agree with that. I think he, he kind of, he thought about what, what Boomstick was doing and what he needed to do to avoid it. There was a lot of um, running away from Boomstick and just sh staying in shield trying to avoid the lasers. And yeah. Dizzy, sure. Dizzy stopped doing that, kind of avoided that for his last stock. And I think that's that's what made the difference. He got two stocks with that last stock, so he only got two stocks. For sure, for sure. But we're about to get the Ice Climber's Menace.